Welcome back. We are here with Veselin Chopalov and Petr Swidler on a press conference. Uh, their game has ended in a draw. And I think it was really a tough game for Petr Swidler. Uh, okay, his opponent was clearly pressing and Petr was lucky to defend. Petr, what do you think? Well, I... yeah... Uh, <laughs> I can't even formulate it properly. Yeah, no... Uh, no luck, just skill, as, as they say. But I mean, yeah, I, 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 it was already pointed out to me that I was losing by force at one point, and maybe only at this point, uh, the position you, you can see on the diagram. Both me and Veselin had seen bishop b2, of course, it's an obvious move, but we didn't see that after knight e5, bishop b5, maybe we could show it on the, yeah, on the uh, board. Yeah, yeah. That, that yeah, bishop b2, takes on e5, takes, takes. I had seen this, and I thought, okay, rook c1, knight c4, I block, I block the entrance no, squares. I, but yeah. But Ruki one just wins a piece on the spot. Yeah, this. Uh, I was in mild time trouble, and also I felt 93 was. I mean, uh, if I can play 93, I think it's a correct move, but uh, unfortunately, it loses by force. So, so what's some eclipse here? Well, uh, the whole game is just uh, one, well, big one big eclipse. <laughs> so yeah, I, I can't really pinpoint a single a single decision and say you know this is. This is where it has gone wrong. Nothing much has gone right for me in this game, to be honest. And, uh, because from the opening, it looked like uh, Veselin got a very, very nice addition of Rio Lopez. Yeah. I mean, maybe. I mean, after the Bishop H3. And so on was, Actually, it's so a strange uh, Zaitsev. Some, yeah. kind of, uh, some kind of weird Zaitsev ish position. Yeah. yeah, like, okay, but the pawn normally doesn't uh, go, it doesn't to, go B4. to B4. The bishop should be on B7. But Originally, I thought my position after knight B4 and the bishop A3 will not be so bad, but then but, I started uh, yeah. seeing ghosts. Of course, I should play C5. Normally, in a blitz game, you play C5 in. Yeah, in, in, to protect in, the. Yeah, in no, 30 actually, seconds. My original idea was to. Um, let me see. Uh, I thought I'd take. Okay, rook takes. And then e5 and take with the knight. But then rook b7 ah. on the move. Because I thought I was yeah, winning. Otherwise, a, otherwise, yeah, otherwise, yeah, lose the exchange. Then rook b7 and it's not so easy to. But if you start with e5, this is yeah, what was Yeah, but then you take me. with the knight, I thought, on b4. It's. Uh, oh, I different. mean, you go uh, e5 yeah. straight away. And then knight d5. Also yeah, knight d5. And I was kind of worried about e takes d6, but maybe that was just ridiculous. I don't know. I, I started seeing yeah. some weird variations so here. So, what is the. Uh, if you just take and take on d4. Yeah, this is what I should do because otherwise knight e4 I think is very unpleasant. But in, even in this position, it's kind of I was getting worried about something. But maybe there's really nothing, yes. nothing much here to, for me to be worried about. I don't know what takes takes knight e5 or something. But uh, mm. you know, if it doesn't work, I might end up being better. So, yeah, of course I should have played this. But then I I got no. Okay, confused. of course I can just uh, let me see. Let, I mean. For example, here, uh, I was thinking even this is just better, but of course it's n not uh, like uh, just take with the pawn. <coughs> I'm not so sure. And I then mean, uh, knight d5. Well, just put the bishop on c4 and queen on c2. And I thought uh, it was uh, better. But the positions like this, I wasn't so sure because I can because play something like no, it's knight not four, much. It's knight not four, much. Yeah. bring it to e6. Yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's not a big deal. No, yeah. of course. This I would have played instantly, but then I started seeing ghosts. And also, I yeah, I missed some very straightforward things because somehow I. After Actually, after knight e5, black is in big trouble. But yeah. did you see knight e5? Uh, well, I saw it before it was played on the board. Let's put it like this. Mm -hmm. But. Uh, yeah, my, my point was I had this beautiful positional idea of uh, d5, e5, knight, h5, then I refuted it, and I... It's yes, like, much like as we do it in Braille. Yeah. yeah. But actually, I think also after e5, why should be clear? Yeah, but, but there, if, if, I could, if I could play knight, h5, I think I would be fine, actually. I, I quite like this position for a while for myself, because, I mean, if I get knight, f4, it's like a very, very nice Braille for me. I mean, I will, bray, I will have c5 breaks and everything, but... This, I think, is incredibly strong. Takes, takes, and e6, followed by knight e5. Maybe you just I, go, you should just I have, go I have to give up this. Rook e6, no? Rook e6, there are uh, other problems, because I think now you can play g... Yeah, the, the well, sorry. Now I have to be a 4. Yeah, but now you can play g3. This was, uh, oh, this was the course, issue, yeah. because the h3 pawn is no longer hanging. And I occupied myself for 20 minutes with these things, and then I thought, okay, I can play knight h7 with some ideas of knight g5 in some positions, and I started calculating this, and this actually doesn't seem to lose. And uh, since c5, at this point, I was, started, I was starting to get worried about c5, I thought, okay, if this, if this position is playable, and I actually believe it might be, because 
Well, Once again, I'm aiming for some kind of a Brayer counterplay. With, uh, eventually, maybe the knife will come to e6. Like uh, bishop a4, bishop d7, rook b1. No, but why should I exchange the bishop? No, you, you keep it like this so I cannot really move. But then I can play simply bishop b7, knight f8. And it's a strange position where nobody really has any plans, and I thought it might be playable. But yeah, no, okay, after knight e5, after knight e5, I mean, uh, I'm lucky I'm not losing by force. So, okay, of course I had a, a nice ending. Which should be very. Uh, oh, yeah. Tame. Yeah, all these end games, of and course, are fantastic for you, but. Knight f1. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. It's not. So it was fun. some forced line of, of sort of like c5 here. I mean, dc5, bishop c5, rook c1, bishop f2, king f2, knight d3. Uh -huh. But this, this is, is just much worse, I believe, because bishop goes to b6. Yeah. yeah. No, somehow I, I, I thought this was nice. But I thought after bishop b6, f4 must be winning, no? Uh, yeah, maybe that was my original idea, but uh, somehow I uh, uh, underest underestimated uh, the exchange because after also rookie one should. I be can take good. only five and go knight d three. I thought uh, that was my then plan. Queen d five, uh, bishop no, d five. Yeah, let's put this. Yeah, bishop b five. You take with the rook, I guess. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, I guess. And knight d three here. So if I take, king I take take king in shade. Yeah. That was mine. Ah, you take or, or immediately. Uh, maybe I even go king h8 here. Yeah, it, it becomes a bit messy. Yeah, that is true. It becomes a bit messy, and I was kind of hopeful I, I, I can maybe get something okay. like this. But after f4, I couldn't find any chances at all. I, I was completely stuck. No, f4, I was a, a bit afraid, but of course, it's not serious for g5. But, uh, yeah, but it uh, doesn't really look very serious. Something something will happen, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, of course, I can, I can go play g5. queen f5. One move I, I, I found, which I think doesn't lose immediately, is queen f5. They take control of the b1 h7 diagonal. And I thought some g5. Yeah, but maybe g5. Yeah, I don't know. I'm g it doesn't look... Uh, what if some rook b5 stuff? I don't know. No, rook b5, rook c1, I think we will always end up getting... Uh, no, in fact, it doesn't really have a big threat. Yeah. yeah or except uh, jumping with an iron on c6, yeah. but even then... It's After bishop b2, did yes. you see, did you see queen f2? Um, I had this... Here I could do this. Yeah, bishop b5, queen e5, I could play queen f2 here. But... But unfortunately, it loses by force. I think king h2, rook b7, and well, I think the simplest. Well, it looks like lo losing. You know? The simplest, I think, is rook c1, and I, I was still kind of kind of interested because, like, I can play king h7. You go rook c8, and I can play knight d3. But I think bishop c2 here is winning. Queen c2, queen f5. Whoops. Yeah, queen c2. But basically, with this bishop on e8, you already piece yeah. down. Yeah. So yeah, I know. And uh, <laughs> there was also I was trying. I was trying to, to make this work, but it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, bishop d5. Bishop d5, yeah. and uh, I can get an endgame uh, a pawn down, but uh, it's not very good. I mean, it, I have bishops instead of bishop and knight, but it's probably lost because the bishop comes to b6 very fast. And I was I was trying to find a way to, to do this, but unfortunately, I think uh, you just pick it up with check. You go queen c4 check here. Because queen c2, bishop takes c5, I actually, you know, I have uh, decent drawing That's chances true, here. Yeah. That is true. This I would have gone for in a heartbeat, but unfortunately after queen c4 check, you pick up the knight with check. So knight c2, I couldn't make work. And in the end, you know, I was very sad, but I felt I have to go for this end game. And bishop d1 is very strong, I guess. Maybe I could have played something better. Also, after. here was a nice try, like bishop a4 immediately. Take on a5. Bishop c7. Rook c5. Yeah, bishop d6. Rook, b rook c4. Bishop b3. Rook c3. And then rook a3. And this oh, okay, is very but not, it's not very yeah, human. Uh, it's not no, very human to find. Yeah, abso absolutely. absolutely. Ah, yeah. That's, yeah. Let's, let's show this because yeah, we, we have both, uh, both seen up to here. Takes, takes, bishop c3, bishop, bishop c6 is a draw. Clear, maybe I can fall somehow. So we both calculated up to here and here. Yeah, rook a3, of course, I hadn't seen. And the nice, point is if nice the knight try. goes somewhere, bishop takes d5. But I guess I... So maybe you can play rook c1 and knight d3, but steal it. Yeah, this is kind of horrible. But I mean, my position is horrible, so it's yeah, not it's should. not very surprising. It's, surprising. <laughs> it's not very surprising. I might, might actually be completely lost here as well, because yeah. I lose the d5 pawn. That's true. Yeah, that's, that's nice. But um, And yeah, in the critical, of course, in the game after bishop d1, I felt that, you know, if I allow you to play Knight, uh, uh, bishop e2 and then consolidate yeah. my position is just strategically completely horrible. So I went for knight d3 because I couldn't see how it loses. And yeah, bishop e2 just wins here. 
And after bishop d4, bishop c6, it's already kind of tricky. No, well, it's because, still a big advantage. But yeah, because uh, here I, I survived by a miracle, yeah? Yeah, Knight of four. just by time. Yeah, yeah. and surprisingly, I'm in time to exchange a6 for a5, exactly. and it should be a draw. Otherwise, it's not very good, but... Uh, I, I couldn't see a three-move line, but this is a <laughs> ten-move line. Yeah, and, and after bishop c2, I, I think maybe knight e2 check was stronger. King f1, d4. No, but I'm not sure. Uh, because uh, now. Just let me see. Uh, but maybe king e2, king d3 simply is not a complete draw. Because otherwise, I, I rejected this because of uh, bishop. But if I just go f4 or f4 something. f4, rook b2, you probably not. Ah, no, f4, you anymore. have check. Yeah, knight yeah, g3 or rook b2. Yeah, rook b2 yeah, followed by knight g3, you know, I'm not sure I, I might start <laughs> playing for, for. You know, I will be very comfortable. But. No, uh, I rejected it because the bishop goes like exactly. here. Yeah. But then I can go knight c3, bishop d3, rook d5, and the thing is up here I have bishop b5. So I think this was probably almost making a draw on the spot, but maybe well, but objectively, this is, maybe this is your best chance. Bishop c is g2. Yeah, but it's it's no, but okay. it's, it's still it's not, not really yeah it's still not an immediate draw because this is very weak. Like but should five from d six, but this should be should be very close to. But very very close to a draw. No, so but the, first you can collect all the pawns by rookie two and then. I don't know. I mean, and then maybe even give away a bishop for for the last one. Well, I mean, uh, I will take no, on f two, but I'm I'm scared to take on h three because after bishop b seven, I might not be able to actually give up my bishop. Although maybe I can. Yeah, I don't know. Bishop b seven, bishop f one, and hope. <laughs> Hope to just give it up I on a six. Yeah, but then I should have gone this, and uh, it's just probably very close to an immediate draw. I don't know why I didn't do this. Because after rook c five, it's it's kind of second round. And in case of bishop takes g seven after d four, what do what do I miss? What? I mean, if I take bishop takes g seven, it's not such a brief. Well. Uh, yeah, it's, it's maybe king g seven, king g two is still tricky because bishop g two, even rook g one and f four at some point. Is and then bishop f three check. King f two and a six. No, I, why can't I do this? So why why, why can't I go rook b two and play for rook bishop? Aha. Uh -huh. Well, then it's maybe no. You you're trying to land in case of bishop d three. I don't know, I can go bishop g2, if I'm, you know, if I'm in a lot of trouble, I can go bishop g2 yes. and make a draw, no. yeah. No, so. but, no, but this, uh, this why is it a draw take. now? No, maybe I take no, it. No, okay, I, okay I, 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 let's take on g7 first and take on g2 here, okay, you can really see. Okay, it's very close oh, yeah, to sure, draw. Sure. Yeah. So but for some reason I was told that in the final position, after rook f5 and h4, I, uh, I was better, but... Uh, d3, h5, king, h7, bishop, b4, and I thought I can go king, g8 was, simply. I, no, I, I was dreaming about some rook f7 move. But there's never any mate, no? Uh, well, it could be mate, but I'm not... Uh, uh, let me see. Check and move the... Yeah, bishop f5, I guess. Yeah, yeah actually, king it is g8. a... Yeah, it is. But okay, this is not really... Or rook, no. Somehow... Uh, yeah, it's two checks, right? It's, it's just nothing. two checks. You even rook each one sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, I, I can actually... If you get over excited. I can yeah. actually make yeah. a queen, so... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you could win a pawn. Uh, actually, I was I was really unhappy about my 40th move. I, I think I may have had something stronger here, but here I almost played knight d7, <laughs> you know, to, to try and hold this position. Yeah, but this is... No, because my, my plan when I was playing knight c5, my plan was to play bishop c4, but then I realized I will have no moves like a four, and I none of my pieces have any squares. And then after d4, you could, in this position, I think bishop a7 wins a pawn, no? Um, but it's a better version for but, me. Uh, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, but it's a slightly better version for me here. Oops, sorry. Uh, bishop a6, bishop a6, bishop d4, and I can go rook d8, rook d5, and then play g5. But I mean, you will still torture me for seven hours and probably win eventually, so... <laughs> I mean, it's... Uh, you could do that, but I was kind of hoping you will go for some mating attack, because I couldn't see any mate. Well, it was not a very yeah, not good game for Not, not for the us. best game we played ever. Yeah, that would be a, a fair description. Well, so tomorrow is another is a day. How are you going to spend it? Uh, I don't know. Brain transplant. <laughs> <laughs> That's always a decision. Seems called for by now. I mean, seriously, it uh, seems like it's time. 
don't know. We've not not decided yet. So what? No big, no big plans. No. Okay.